life's work was healing people. And now I get to do it one more time. For you, Lucy. How you holding up? But I'm here, and I get to be with the girls, and I get to be with you. It's just, the reason I'm here and alive is because Karen died. Karen dying was a horrible thing, but it had nothing to do with you. She had plans, she had a future, she had people that loved her, she had the same. I just hope to God that somebody somewhere has a, a plan in all of this. The only thing I know for sure is that Karen was your angel. Come here. It's like we all had the same idea. Yeah. Rhonda and I made the uh, Karen's funeral arrangements. Uh, Picked out her dress. Of course, I've been down that road before. Doesn't get any easier, I'll tell you that, Lucy. Scott. I miss her. What's going on? Um, I guess we all just were trying to figure out how to say goodbye to an angel. Karen always saw the good in people. When we were together, nobody could quite figure it out, the doctor, the musician. But it made perfect sense to us. You just gave me a better idea. Oh, what are you doing? We are going to do our own performing. Awesome. Yeah, here we go. Hang on. OK. With Karen, you not only had a friend, a friend for life. Kevin, I'm sorry. I always told you our love could get us through anything. It will hurt a little bit at first, but then it will be the most amazing sensation you have ever felt. You mean I'll die? You will be reborn, Kevin. You will be reborn into a life you won't be able to believe. She was a good doctor and a, and a really good person, and I admired her quite a bit. Probably should have taken the time to tell her that, but I always liked the way she always kind of called me on the times when I was more difficult, which I can be from time to time. I'll miss her, but heaven's a better place now. I should get used to losing people. Do you remember when I found out that Karen was my daughter? I was really excited. And then I just fell in love with her like, like I'd known her since she was, was a baby. I missed her first step, and I missed her first, first word, and I missed her graduation. I missed. Her wedding. <clears throat> Life is just grand, huh, Lucy? You're wasting your time. You can light all the candles you want, but in Port Charles, you'll just be in the dark. That is very unfair. I'm glad you're better, Lucy, but nothing comes without a price, does it? We're all just victims of a random universe. Lucy lives, Karen dies. And this joke we call life just rolls merrily along, doesn't it? At least for the lucky ones. We 
We're here to remember a friend, not to cause more pain. So if that's what you have to, you're not welcome. You all claim to love Karen so much. The fact is, most of you just used her. What, what are you doing disrespecting my daughter's death, Kevin? Easy, Scott. Should have kept you locked up in the psych ward and thrown away the key. We all know what you really care about, Ramsey, is money and scoring with any woman who's breathing. Kevin, what is going on? I can hear your voice all the way down the hall. You barely knew Karen. Kevin, you need she to She helped me through one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. And you couldn't get past your petty insecurities. I didn't realize that she was helping you. I just thought that she was trying to come between us. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. I think you better leave. Oh, and how can we forget the noble Dr. Thornhart? How oh, does Lord. it feel to know that Karen had to die just so you could keep pawing Lucy? Hey, hey, now listen, I don't know what's going on here, what your personal problems are. This isn't the time. I'm gonna go outside. Fine. I wouldn't mind leaving this miserable excuse for a memorial myself. I can't do it. I can't let him keep doing this, okay? Okay. Okay. Dr. Raven to ER. Dr. ER. You had absolutely no right to come in there like... What did Karen do for you? I had a problem with the needle, Lucy. Joshua Temple got me hooked on drugs. And Karen helped you kick that habit? Held my hand day and night. Relived one of the most painful times of her life. All because I needed her. She never gave up on me. Even after I gave up on myself. She was an amazing woman. Yeah, look what it got her. Don't. Don't do that. Do not let all this, this bitterness consume you. Why should I believe that anything good ever happens? Because Karen did. Karen's life, obviously, was snatched away too soon. But she had hope. She had hope for you. Well, it's too bad that she wasted her last few weeks on a lost cause. She saved my life. Why can't you let her save yours? Because I'm not sure there's anything left to save. Dr. Perry, 4467. Dr. Ava Perry, 4467. The seat taken? Kill him. Sometimes you married to him. No, don't. I, I don't. I, I, I don't know him anymore, and I don't. I don't want to. Okay. No. But I, I have a chance to be thanks to Karen. You gave life to Serena. Now Karen's giving you life. If you, if you. Don't want to be around me anymore. I mean, because of all this, you can't stand to be around me. I would understand that, you know. I would get that. I was married to you, Lucy. I fell in love with you the first time I laid eyes on you. Pal, look at the two of us. How did we get here? Huh? Tell me. I don't know. But you've got another shot at life. Don't blow it. Hey, I know what your, your daughter, your daughter, gave me. She not only has given me a chance at life, she gave me you. And now, me and you will always be connected forever. For what it's worth, Collins is a jerk. That's usually my type. Of course, if he's mean and crazy, then he's marriage material. Well, here's a little tip for you. If you're looking for a good companion, you ought to go adopt a dog. How will you find that? 
kind of deserve something better than this. Hey. Why don't you go light a candle for your daughter? Goodbye, my sweet friend. Rest in peace. <laughs>